All right, guys. Whoa. I just arrived on scene. We got this OPG call of a box truck in a house. They have a local tow vendor that can't handle. Okay, I think I'm ready, man. Okay, so um, I apologize for the confusion. I guess they called their own tow. Okay. Um, they're gonna take it. Their owner worked it out, so. Okay. So sorry to make you drive all the way out here, man. So I'm it's OR you. then, not at 180? Correct. Okay. <sighs> Thanks, man. Sorry about that. Okay. Who's doing the cones? Can, can I get those moved really quick? I gotta exit out that way so I can. I'm gonna go straight and then make a left out of here. I'm gonna stay right here. Thank you. Is it coming down here too? They kicked me out. No. Oh. Yeah. No. You can't do that to Pepe. It's not. You gotta use Pepe to lift it up. Again. That's exactly what I was gonna do. I was gonna use my boom to lift up the front engine bay while I winch back with the deck winch and. Bring it out like this. I've watched your videos, I've seen you do what you do. Yeah. And I just told these guys, what, just trust Pepe and listen to what they're going to say. And they're like, well, I don't know. You know, okay. Well, what you'll do is what you always do. You'll watch. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe he's better than me. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Let's see. What the brake? I'm guessing the brakes went out. Cut off. Is this from the car? Yeah. It always happens like that. Well, we're coming from this way. We're coming up that way, right? The car that was in that, that street right here on the other car? Did they impound the other guy? Which one? Nah, the, the other car? This one they took you. The, yeah. They wouldn't eat this one when I was here because the, the, the owner didn't come until like way later. You know? Oh. This, the, the car that came out from over there pulled turned left. So I tried to hit the brake, boom. I tried swerving to the right a little bit, but there was too many cars on my right hand lane, though. So, you know those cars there? I'm not gonna when I looked inside the mirror, I got kind of scared. So I'm not scared. You know, like that. And I just, you know, by the time. Well, good thing you weren't fully loaded because you would have went through that wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we were on our way to a job. Pulled the pulled I was gonna put my boom under here low, yeah. put a line to right there, lift it up while I use a deck winch to pull it out like this at an angle so I don't, because you're touching that gate. Yeah. So I think if you do it at an angle, it'll be a lot easier, but harder to do it without getting lift. So guys, this is not my call. This happens so many times. This is in the city of Tarzana which is far from where I'm at, especially in rush hour. They sent me a emergency PD call, police department for a box truck into a house. This is it. Nothing too crazy that I haven't done, but it did take out the, um, the water line down here. They had to shut that off the city, but the power lines up ahead aren't shut. So you would figure it's as simple as winching it straight back and normally we, we've done them like that before but since i'm here in hulk there's a couple of things you got to figure taking it out isn't going to work because you don't have steering the front axle i'll show you guys right now with shot it's not going to come out straight and you have a tree here that it can get stuck on or destroy and it's touching up on this in fact it's touched up on this gate winching it out straight back you risk the gate coming off, you tear down all this stuff, cause a lot more damage. It will get caught on that. So, 
it's empty which they have going for them that's pretty cool i'm not familiar with this company but i do have a truck identical to this a 16 ton medium duty wrecker very versatile truck but again since i have hulk i did plan to winch it back with my deck winch while also using my boom at a very low angle to lift the front now hulk's strong enough to where i can do that at like 20 degrees or or below because i'm only lifting up the front of the truck to act as control so that stays airborne while i winch it back at the same time that way i can kind of maneuver it so it doesn't hit that gate it doesn't get caught up on anything there because those rims will get caught up on that and then you see from this angle so something i've never done before where i get booted from a call i show up and um at the last second pd says we're gonna not impound it but have this company their own private tower handle it oh well, you can't do nothing about it can't fight it it is what it is you can't get them all right this ain't pokemon but to post someone else's video to post someone else's recovery is interesting to see what other people do in these situations i know how i'll do it but i'm curious to see how this guy's gonna do it so far i like his method instead of going straight back he's gonna pull it towards him but at an angle well it looks like it'll go away from that gate that it's touching Let's see if it works snatch block wise very good Now, if you guys are wondering why I'm not helping them if I'm the expert, I can't. Let's say something were to happen and uh, I don't know what his chains are rated at or if they're damaged or if he's got kinks in his ropes and I'm helping him and something snaps, well, now I'm liable. Well, even if I wanted to give him some of my equipment or lend a hand, you'd figure that's the right thing to do, towing brothers, but no. That's a big no-no in Cali for an IA. I don't know man <laughs> the reason we have these trucks is because that's all I do every day is stuff like this worse this guy probably does towing all day long and doesn't really get these much it depends man you're empty yeah. and do you have the key yeah yeah so right. it, that, that's what I'm saying you're, you're, you're empty and you don't have air brakes so he can put it in neutral so far, I mean, I don't, yeah, we'll see. I mean, what's he gonna do? Scrub? He's not. You probably can, because this is gonna just be OPG rate. How much is this guy charging you? Five hundred. Five hundred, damn. That was pretty cheap. <laughs> I feel for him, man. The pressure is on. Well, yeah, I mean, we know what to do. You you live here? No, I live down the street. Did you hear it? I didn't hear it. I got back. Uh, I've been waiting for DWP to show me water up. I, got a I bet you never thought you'd see Hulk out here, huh? Pepe Stone? No, not this <laughs> far. I've seen uh, YouTube, I've LA. I've seen uh, when you brought the car. The trucks got stuck in the job. Oh yeah. Get into that little name, that little neural thing, and you had to put them up on the board. So I, so when I saw them, like I said, yeah, because I, you know, I, I had a tow truck. What happened? One time. Did you see pictures of the other wind that was right here? Oh, that's Luckily, no one got hurt, huh? We're okay. Yeah. Yeah, one of these homeless guys lives in that car. He's not there. Okay, I see what he's doing. 
got the winch stuck right there, but looks like he's gonna do a low line pull, like I said, to pull it out away from the gate. And then one in the rear as well. But I don't see a second snatch block back there. I wonder if I can give him a suggestion. See that tailboard D-ring, it's still too high. You see that angle, that chain's gonna go right through that step. But if you were to drop his outriggers, oh, right on cue. I think you heard me. Oh, never mind. I thought he was gonna drop his outriggers to redirect that snatch block. If he redirects that snatch block down there, now you get a really low pull. Now I see what he's doing. He's pulling from this side to get it away from the gate. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But I wish he had lower lines because that line's cutting right through that box. Oh, okay. yeah. yeah okay. It's empty, so he can get away with it. It's just, it just okay. doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. He's doing pretty good. It's a hard job, man. That's a 16 ton wrecker. No, I do like how he did a, a rear and a front pull. He's already got it from here. He got it out. The hard part's done. Now see, unlike a rotator, he's gonna have to uh, de-rig and, and go forward or reposition. job that's a pretty good deal man I'm 
I'm not sure why he pulled so much line out right there though. Oh, it got kinked up. He's re-wrapping it in real time. You know what, let me go around. I think that the front right is stuck. Just like I said, which is why I wanted a vertical lift there. So if you guys remember, I was touching the tree and touching the gate. So he solved one of the issues that I identified of this being touched and pulling it out completely and all this. Nice and easy does it, buddy. I have faith, I think he'll do it. It's really not a hard job, man. It's a tiny bit delicate, but it's really not that hard. He's got it now. He's just going to reposition, get on that side and pull it out that way. It's pretty much his. Shoot, he could do it with the underlift now, I think, is what he's going to do. Well, he needs to take it from over here. Well, he's going to park his face that way. His goal right now is just to pull it out, get it away from the pole, put everything on the street. That's what he's gonna do right now. Or he's just gonna U-turn it by Hulk. But what I think, I think he's just gonna hook up to the rear tow it now lift it up from the back and then just once you pull it out you're ready in tow mode you win some you lose some josh let me see, by the where I had my truck at, I was already ready to start moving my boom. The cool thing about the rotator too is like I said, you just park in at one spot and the entire job is done. Once I had pulled it out, I could use a boom because I was gonna lift up from the front. It's rotated out and spin it already. So it's parallel against the curb with the rear facing that way. I back up to it and tow it out. And I want the rear this way instead of facing the street. That way I'm not sticking out and blocking lanes of traffic. Yeah, so what he's going to do is use probably his medium duty forks. Oh no, I thought he was going to just underlift it. By the way, this is incredibly odd for me. I've never done a play by play commentary on someone else's work. I can't believe that you're gonna let AAA beat you on a toe. You know what, man? That's not my call, dude. It's PD. It sucks though, because they call you and we're coming from East LA. Yeah. I drove an hour and 10 minutes in traffic, dude, up to 101. Believe that. The yeah. whole time there was accidents, and I get here just to say. I uh, the radio, the uh, TV, the heavy. I mean, what can I do? Throw a fit, cry? Yeah. Man, I just look so professional and. We, like I told, you know, we can't get them all. Yeah. Well, actually, he takes it straight back down. It shouldn't hit the wall. Close, but it shouldn't hit the wall. Yeah, with my truck, I could do it in one shot because I could rotate. Yeah. 
he, he can do very similar a lot of the same things it's just like you see he has to reposition and re-rig how much can you pick up on yours that's a 50 ton dude so theoretically a hundred thousand pounds off the back how much? that's a 16 ton hundred thousand ton. 16 ton but but those are theoretical so that 16 tons is only fully retracted at a certain height yeah. and doing a deadlift once yeah. you start putting snatch blocks and redirecting in lines it's different but it, it, it's capable it's an empty box truck if it was loaded it'd be a different oh, story yeah. Yeah, that's... and if it was in the wall seems like he knows more or less what he's doing angle, angle of toe yeah, he's, he's gonna. He's using two lines to kind of pull it out like this, zigzag it. Stand on this. Well, the little camera on my hat I was wearing overheated. It's deceptively hot right now, so I'm gonna be doing this with my pocket three. Stand back just a little bit. I just noticed if you see here the wall from the impact. I don't think it's gonna fall, but just in case. That's one thing I don't like to do, if you guys can see right there. Even by retracting his boom when he winches up, that winch line is gonna go and touch the casualty. You never wanna have your winch cables ever touch the casualty. So you see right there, it's wrapped up underneath the drive shaft. And now the rear of the box truck. That's how you damage your cable. And when you're on another job on something light, you're doing a pull, the cable snaps, that's that's why. So if you see what I mean, this cable right here runs right here and as it winches up. A lot of pressure right there. I think he's gonna readjust because he saw that. Shoot, if anything, I think me being here is putting the pressure on him, which is making him do better, which is good. He's gonna tighten up right there. better dual snatch blocks so he did see that mistake and he's using a snatch block to redirect the line for a lower pull still though he could go around the, the bottom outriggers by wrapping a chain around them for a super low pull which is I think what you need You guys were able to hear the beginning when I was talking to the driver. 
I don't know if I can salvage that because he has a lot of profanity, but he said that he was coming this way and a car merged. So he had to swerve to avoid the car and ended up here. The car was uh, towed away by a separate tow company. And I'm leaving this job in its entirety because you guys know how fast we can work, say, a rollover from start to finish, including setting up the outriggers. This should be a good gauge on how non-exclusively uh, heavy-duty recovery companies operate on what a job like this usually takes time-wise. at this point both rear lines should just go to the rear I wouldn't even mess with the front anymore line you see here right in front of me on the outside of the tire I wouldn't do that as he tightens up because he's got the other end hooked up to the front left it's gonna put a ton of pressure on that tire in fact it might pop see how it's riding up the tire now I know a tree guy that would kill you for that. <laughs> but I think he's realizing that's not really a good uh, place to pull from, it's the front left. You know what, I'm gonna post up in some shade. I'll probably leave this on a time lapse in like 10X until it's out.
Looks like he's moving again. Uh, yeah, so he changed his, uh, his angle. Man, I was gone for 10 minutes buying all this and cooling down. I know. Every time, man, you get beverages like things happen. Car chasing. Now people think this stuff is easy. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I asked him, I was like, does he think he's just going to pull it straight back out? Because. No, no, no. <laughs> Not easy, man. The thing with using the bone was, was the good idea right there. It's not that big of a truck, but it's... The you know, truth be told, what I would do in his case, because it's empty mm -hmm. and it runs, there's no brakes in the rear, I would get two big 2 by 4s wood, put them like 10 feet back, and just pull from the rear bumper. Just pull from the rear bumper and pull it out. He already got it out. Nothing's going to happen. Okay. Until it gets to like right there, and then he can... Once it's out of all this completely, it's his. That's all he has to do. Okay. 100%. Yeah, so it, it was actually... Because there's not much force going against that bumper, you know, it's... it's yeah, well, what, what the good news is on the dually is... One thing you can never have is too much horsepower, too much truck. I oh, mean, yeah. It, it never can. That's... It's, uh, I agree, a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Looks like he completely took off his, his rigging right there. I can't even guess what's gonna happen now, but I'm gonna put this on fast forward one more time. Oh, he's moving again. By the way, since I started recording on this DJI, this might be a horrible video for a lot of my fans or people looking at it uh, based on the thumbnail. But I'm doing this so I can keep the job in its entirety again, just to show you guys what um, how these jobs are done with just regular, regular trucks. This is in no way a knock on the driver. So far, he's I like his idea of if something doesn't work, he does another idea. That's a very good sign of a good operator you know it's none of this eyes closed and hope for the best he's got the right idea with the snatch box it's just he probably just does towing like i told the other guy all day bet you he's a great tower and how often do other companies get box trucks and houses like this so if i had to guess he's gonna do what i originally said that he's gonna do he's gonna just lift up the rear bumper and tow it out be a little dangerous though because those tires are crooked that axle looks pretty bad we'll see Worst case though is if he brings out this with him, it might knock this down. So, oh yeah, be careful. You see you know what? Yeah. I think I felt that wall moving behind me for some reason. Yeah, well, that's it. So Maybe that's why. Okay, so he's telling us. Might want to stand a little clear. Yeah, he's telling us to stay away from the wall. You can see the crack right there. It's a thin wall. So 
well, I got here at 428. It takes me less than five minutes to set up my truck. I would have had this thing towing already. I wish he would have done that from the get-go once he got it out. Alright guys, I'm out of here. I messed around long enough, so hopefully you guys enjoy this different video of uh, a tow recovery from a completely different company that's not mine. What sucks about pulling it out that way is you have to tow it from the front. So he can't back up and jackknife it and come out this way. He's going to have to go forward and once you have it out you can't back up with it. But I ain't going to stick around for that. He's got it from him. Bro, good job getting it out. All right, That's you. a tart under pressure, man. I know, That's dude. Right. You got all the eyes on you. That's all right. Game plan doesn't work one. You got to try again. But you got it out. No worries. Good stuff. So, did we learn something here today? <laughs> yeah, use Pepe's. <laughs> Enjoy my delicious Gatorade and my. AC truck and good job to that tow operator got it done without a rotator so can't knock it peace out y'all hey everybody welcome back to another edition of uh, Josh's breakdown my second episode so far hopefully by this time you guys have uh, watched that last one I posted the crazy excavator one top three hardest jobs I've ever done like I explained in that video but on to this one now when you get 1022 I'm gonna just do some tow lingo really quick in tow, tow, tow terms that means you're canceled 1022 like hey I'm on scene but they're you know 1022 me that means they're canceling you this is Tarzana this was about an hour and something minutes away from the shop and because we have the exclusive heavy-duty police garage contract with the city of LA we go all over LA is like 500 something square miles so it's a mission to reach all corners especially in rush hour when I got to this call, by that time, I'm already like an hour and 15 minutes into it. The police were telling me, okay, we're going to take it for, I forgot the reason why, but um, that's what 180 means is 180 means the cops or police or DOT, they impound your vehicle for a California vehicle code, whether it's registration, drunk driving, you know, there's like a whole bunch of numbers for it. So I thought it was going to be a 180. Start formulating my game plan just to be told. On second thought, uh, this guy has his own tour. We're going to let him take it. And there's nothing wrong with that. It happens all the time. You can't ball up your fist. You can't cry. Like I said, you know, the same Pokemon. You can't catch them all. We're, we're really blessed with the amount of work we get, the crazy jobs we get. So it's not the biggest. It's not the end of the world. But because of the distance and then, geez, another 90 minutes on the way back, I figured, hey, I'm already here. Might as well, you know, put my new camera to use. I stuck around just to record it and I thought it'd be something different than the usual trailer lifts rollovers that I'm always posting. How other companies handle standard recoveries. And when I say standard, this is a pretty basic standard recovery. It's nothing crazy. By this point, there's probably a thousand people that didn't even stay to the end of the video and already commented I could have done that with my Ford F-150 and a chain or whatever. On paper though, and in real life, it's, it's a lot different. As I pointed out in the front, you know, I didn't show up and say, hey, this is so easy. This guy's struggling. I was explaining why it would be difficult to even someone with a little bit of experience. You have the gate and the tree on one side. You know, the wall was a little bit messed up on the left side. The axle was jacked up so the tiles, tires don't roll freely. They're going to catch resistance and they can bring up stuff. It could get caught on the ledge. I mean, it, it happens. So they take a little bit of care. So to this guy's credit, I did 
mentioned in the video that what I did like about him is if something didn't work, he would, you know, kind of play with it, go, and like, okay, no, this isn't going to work. There was a couple of times, like, when that tire, I mentioned the wire rope was going to push up against the tire, it would have popped it. It would have compressed and bam, damaged the rim, maybe, you know, but definitely would have messed up the tire. So he caught that, a couple other things he caught. But again, man, I mean, I'm so spoiled with, with Hulk and, you know, Alex and Flipper and my dad, Dave, everyone here. We That's all we physically do. We rarely tow. It's just winch outs, recoveries all day, every day. So the average person and most other tow companies don't really operate that way. We're exclusively recovery here, the, the team here, as opposed to most tow companies where you're a tow company primarily and you tow all day, every day. Guy could probably out tow me. Any day of the week, I wouldn't doubt it. So this isn't a criticism of him and his techniques. It was just out of my curiosity because, like I said, I know what I would do. I know how long it would take me, five minutes to set up the outriggers. In 20 minutes, maybe that thing would be airborne, spun, and on my underlift. But I always get comments that I see. Uh, you know, of course, the haters will ignore the huge tractor trailers over guardrails, that excavator job. They won't touch that. They'll see something more easier that we get dispatched to, like a winch out. And be like, Psh, I could have done that with my one ton or my, my medium duty. Well, here's a regular person in a medium duty. And this is what I believe the average, you know, tow driver is experienced with. So this is what a normal recovery would look like for a non-rotator. Now, because you can't rotate and you can't work off the side, if you don't like your angle or you're like, shoot, I have to go back two feet, you can't just rotate your boom. You know, like, let me go about 15 degrees lower and 10 feet to the left and extend out to compensate you have to physically disattach your chains and everything and put up your outriggers or your rear spades i should say not outriggers and move your truck and again there's nothing wrong with that that's how it's always been done before rotators that's how the majority of people still do it well like i said we're just spoiled to have so many rotators and it's our bread and butter so it's what we do it, it is interesting to see how night and day it is in terms of equipment obviously a 16 ton you know, single axle on the rear wrecker isn't going to outperform a 50 ton rotator, but they are versatile. And as you can see, he got the job done. Now, in hindsight, what I probably would have done is after the beginning or at the beginning, once he got it away from that wall, I was concerned about, I think it was safe from there. I would have just forked it from the underlift like he did or behind on the, on the frame behind the DOT bumper and pulled it out. I don't think it would have done anything. It's what he ended up doing at the very, very end. Once he got it really out. So good on that instead of still struggling, you know, trying to pull out more cable and winch it out. Another thing that sucks about having a fixed boom and a smaller truck on these jobs, while they might not seem that difficult, is the space. You'll notice that it seems like in the second half of the video, his front of the truck was almost, I think, in the lane. And you're, you're married to that when you're in a fixed spot, you can't really do anything. With the rotator, I could, you know, put my truck, face it, the street that's blocked off and work everything from right there and then have the bad end swung to me. So it is, again, a cool, different video. It's not my job. Again, congrats to that guy. I congratulate him at the end. He did pretty good given the circumstances given to him. Don't know his experience level, but I would say he did not bad. Um, truth be told, I was a bit cynical. When I first showed up, I was already thinking, well, he's going to pull this out. It's going to get stuck on this tree, throw the box open. I've seen that. I've been on jobs where I've been booted. They give it to someone else that's cheaper. That guy destroys everything, and then I have to come clean it up. So they pay double. So I was a bit cynical, I admit. Um, but once he started, you know, with the first snatch block and dropping the outriggers, I was like, yeah, th this guy's got it. It's going to take a little bit. And to all the people that were watching, there was a couple guys that were on scene that said they watched my channel from all the way over there. So shout out to you guys. Thank you, you know, for watching. And glad you were able to see me work in person. Well, actually, not even work in person, but record and see Hulk in person. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. You know, if, if you guys are medium duty operators, light duty operators, how often do you guys do recoveries versus towing? How would you guys have done this? What did you guys think of his work? And don't bash the guy because I, I think he did a good job and I do this for a living. So, you know, if you're a YouTube armchair expert, just save it for one of my other videos where I'm doing the job. And with that, peace out. See you guys on the next one.